Miss ito nga, yung sa question kay Miss Philippines sa Miss Universe nung nakaraan. Hi Miss Philippines! Thank My you. question is, given the ever-changing COVID situation, what is your opinion of mandating a universal vaccine passport? Why do we need a vaccination passport? I think we need a vaccination passport to assure the world, wherever we're traveling around the world, that we are vaccinated or we are not a threat to the health of the world or of the people from their community, the people in their country, that you will not spread virus or anything that will be a threat to the public health. So I guess a vaccination passport is important in that matter. And I thank you. And this is Miss Earth forever. Hi Earthling. So I finally got my vaccination passport. After a month and two weeks of waiting, no walk-ins allowed. So you have to get a schedule. I will put the link below where you can get your schedule. Hi Earthling. Sa Venice Grand Mall. Uh, dito kami. Uh, kami ng vaccine passport. Dito sa McKinley Venice Grand Canal, third floor, madaming vaccination something. Ay nga. Pero ang punta natin ay sa Bureau of Quarantine. So, ayan, nandito tayo sa Bureau of Quarantine sa may Finistrat mo at makukuntin. Hindi naman masama. Mabilis naman. We are playing to Jitsu and Chess. Tasha, let's after 30 minutes sa pila nakaikot pa lang kami ng site nagaling kami doon nandito na kami sa pila ng site I just saw a batch of people carrying their passport getting out from the inside. So I guess may waiting time pa rin dun sa loob. immediate booking na, na kailangan umalis ka agad. Meron silang expedite processing and just email those if you need the vaccine passport. And after one hour and ten minutes, nasa top five na tayo guys. Top five challenge. <laughs> Dito sa loob ng BOQ, may mga kiosk and you just have to verify your details. After doon, sa area na yun, yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina na parang mga window screening, ganyan. Kukonfirm mo lang yung mga data doon sa file nila. Tapos, pag first time mo, diretso ka na dito sa releasing, yung time mo na lang. So, eto na. Nakuha ko na siya. One hour, 20 minutes at least. Hindi na masama. Ayan. Tapos may mga laman siya. Continue watching if you want to see what's inside the passport. Yay! Yung question kay Miss Universe, what is the need for a vaccination passport? Because the world needs to be assured that you're vaccinated and you won't spread the virus when you visit their country. So the vaccine passport is important. And I thank you. I'm sure you want to see 
what the inside looks like. I gablur ko yung details kasi it's sensitive information. It's about ayan, this is the World Health Organization vaccination passport. Ayan. International Certificate of Vaccination. Ayan. So, yun yung nakalagay dun sa front page. Then, on the sec on the next page, ayan, International Certification of Vaccination or prophylaxis. And then, ayan, details your details is there your name birthday sex nationality and then your valid id numbers and and then you have to sign it and then the passports your info like and the nakto na ganito yan what was this issue um passport about and then my number dito ng details ng passport and then my qr code that qr code is very much individualized hindi siya pare-pareho so ayan and then sa loob nakalagay ng details ng vaccines mo yan surely vaccine dapat yun ito print na yung boosters mo you can write it down there ayan so it's it's really a passport of your what's this certification of vaccines ayan this is the worldwide accepted vaccination certification or vax passport World Health Organization siya. And then, Bureau of Quarantine. So, how to get this? You have to go to this website. Uh, sulat ko na lang dito. Nakalimutan ko yung pangalan. Nag nakalagay na rin yung info sa baba. Kung ano yung site. And then, try to find a schedule. Medyo matagal, mahirap maganap ng open schedule. So, lahat ng site. Puntahan nyo na lang. And yun, ang napuntahan ko na nakakahanap is McKinley. Maganda sa McKinley. Kasi aircon. I don't know the other sites. So, yun. And then, ayun. Um, you can, on the site na mismo, ilalagay mo yung mga details mo. Um, yung valid ID mo. And then, yung vaccination card. I-input mo lahat ng details na yun. So, you have to better use a web browser para mas masasave yung info mo. Kasi pag nag-cellphone ka, medyo baka mawala yung, mabilis mawala yung details. Pero kaya naman, so, well. Kasi ikaw na mag-input dun sa, sa application mo ng mga date of vaccination, tapos yung lot number ng no? vaccine, when it was taken, who was the doctor who did it, ganyan, or whoever whoever did your vaccine, ganyan, nakasulat lahat. Ikaw mag-i-input, no? Kung anong nakalagay sa vaccination card mo, ililipat mo lang. Para kasi, ayan, no? i-verify nila. Ilalagay nila dyan sa loob. Tapos, ayun. Pagka-fill up mo ng form, pagka-pass-submit mo ng mga valid IDs, ng valid ID, passport mo, is okay na kung valid. Valid ID, and then the vaccination card. Then, Pwede ka nang mag-pay. Diretso na din doon sa site. And then, screen cap mo yung schedule number mo and date and place. And then, go to the place at the time of your schedule. Kami, we were on time. Like, 15 minutes before my time. 11 o'clock kami. Dumating na kami. And so, sakto lang kasi yung pila mahaba. So, Yung 11 o'clock, sumakto kami sa so 11 something na nasa pila na. Nasa gitna kami ng pila na. So, ayun. So, ganun. And then, this is, you can use this na to travel abroad. Kasi yung mga inicue sa ating vaccination card, pang local lang yun. Hindi na-acknowledge ibang bansa kasi magkakaiba. So, 
yung sa Pilipinas na hinihingi nila na what's that certificate iba pa yon iba rin to so if you want to get this and you plan to go abroad ayan get this one you can also have the expedite processing pwede naman na doon din yung sa previous video ko kung anong lugar i will put and the details on my uh, description below. So, yun lang. And thank you everyone for watching. And safe travels for everyone. And I hope matapos na ang COVID-19 pandemic so we can have a normal life. But I guess there's a new normal. Parang sa flu vaccine, everyone, a lot of people get it once a year. So, baka ang COVID then might be once a year na rin since this. So, yun lang. Thank you everyone for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and bye!